Okay, welcome back everybody. Sorry for the delay in making this. Um, just due to the amount of interest that I got from the last video, I've had to do a couple of changes. Um, first of all, there's no custom uh, programming. It just takes way too long. Uh, and I can't test all of the individual sensors that other people have that I don't have, so it was just a bit too complicated and time consuming. So I decided to make two versions. Um, both versions have two, uh, 12 screens. Uh, one is based at your more kind of entry level guy, the guy that's just got a few sensors and just wants basic data. So that's going to be called the street. Uh, so this is a preview of the street. Um, so the initial screen is just yeah, RPM with throttle position and a maximum. Um, manifold pressure with a peak hold. Ethanol percentage coolant temperature and air temperature with a peak hold, air fuel ratio, oil pressure, battery voltage, gear and speed. Uh, it should be noted that to have all of these working you have to actually have them working in the ECU. So for gear and speed you'll need your vehicle speed sensor to do the gear detection. Uh, inject duty with peak hold fuel pressure with the max and a min. Oil temperature, this is kind of what I'm talking about. I don't have oil temperature, so if anyone in Brisbane has uh, Haltech Elite with an oil temperature, I'd like to plug it in and test it just to see how it displays. I'm sure that it works, but I can't format it correctly until I actually plug it in and see. Uh, exhaust gas temperature, I don't have the EGT as well, but I'm, yeah, just hope that works. Uh, as you can see there, it references engine coolant temperature unless you have uh, actual EGT hooked up. And screen off. Uh, you don't want to screen staring at you in the face if you're going on a long 12 hour drive, so uh, it will just turn itself off uh, and it'll come back to that if you turn the car off and turn it back on again. It'll go back onto screen off mode and it's just a single button press to bring it back to the first screen. Uh, as with the other ones, uh, a long press will clear the uh, max and mins. So a long press, it'll reset the peaks. So that's the street. Uh, the next one I'll show you is the Pro, which is kind of designed a little bit more to your tuner guy, who wants a bit of um, more information of multiple parameters to kind of do tuning possibly. So. Lambda and target Lambda. A lot of people don't like Lambda, but it's the way to go, so deal with it. Um, and AFR, just because I'm a nice guy. Manifold pressure with your target. So, um, yeah, just to see what your target is and what you actually achieved. This one's good. Um, so, as you increase in boost pressure, it'll tell you what RPM you achieved your peak at. So it's good for tuning the response of your turbo, changing uh, ignition timing and AFR and seeing how that affects the spool of your turbo. Um, that's just a nice little one that I put in there. Fuel pressure again with max and min, ethanol percentage again, coolant and air temp again, ignition degrees and engine knock with a max knock. This is just off sensor one. Same as with the AFR, I'm just going off sensor one gear and speed again, boost control solenoid output duty and injector duty with a peak hold. Oil pressure and oil temperature with a peak. Again, I don't have the oil temperature, so again, if you're in Brisbane and you got one, come around and uh, we'll get it working and formatted properly. EGT again, it's just uh, referencing the coolant temperature. And again, screen off. Um, that's the run through of those two. I'm going to be asking 200 for the street and 220 for the pro. Uh, and if you have a look over here, I have actually been working on a two point, uh, sorry, glare, 2.4 inch version, which is working and it will be available in the street and the pro as well for 300 and 320 just for the difference of the price of the screen and 
extra stuff that I had to 3D print and program. Um, I'd just like to reiterate that this is a hobby for me. I do it in my spare time. I work full time and I've got other projects that I'm doing, so I can't make heaps. I can uh, basically do it when I have the time. So I may do custom, like one custom screen. If there's a, a sensor or a bank of, maybe you want six EGTs, um, I may offer a custom screen, just a single screen that you can do multiple parameters on. And depending on the complexity, yeah, I might, I might be able to come to the party with that one. Um, I'm not going to offer any discounts for group buyers or anything like that because it's purely the time that it takes me to make them is basically what I'm charging. If it's if I can't get this, then it's not really worth me doing. It's it's 100% a hobby that I do in my spare time. So uh, if you're interested, basically send me a message and uh, tell me which version you'd like and leave a deposit and. I'm just going to get a list and uh, order the parts and work through the list as I can get them because all these parts come from overseas and I'm hand soldering uh, everything and programming and 3D printing. I don't know if you can see how much detail it is, but it is a 3D printed case. Um, that's a good idea of it. It's You can see the lines, but essentially from arm's distance and yeah, if you're hiding behind a facade, it, it just looks like black plastic. Um, I do have the plugging and worked in onto the Elite hub here. I'm not sure if you can see. So that's a six port hub. I have a six port and a four port. Again, they're 3D printed. And I'll be offering the four port for $50 and the six port for $70. Um, so with hooking it up, Usually the first is going to ECU and then you have one, two, three, four, five other devices you can plug in. Depending on where you're plugging your Elite gauge in, the can requires a terminating resistor. Now Haltech achieved this by using their black and their white cables. So a black cable would plug in, as you can see here, my wideband has a black cable because it's the last device in the can. Um, if you're plugging an Elite gauge straight into say like a Sprint or a PS2000, uh, you need to have that terminating resistor. So on mine, it's just this, uh, focus, this little switch here. So if you sl switch that towards the USB connector, that engages the terminating resistor. Um, so if it's the last device in the hub or the only device plugged into the ECU, switch that towards the USB connector, otherwise push it away and it uh, deactivates that terminating resistor. It's just for the stability of the CAN hub. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick rundown. Um, sorry again it took so long to make. Um, I'd, I would like to get these 2.4s going. I'm just continuing to test them at the moment. It's got a screen protector on at the moment, but uh, it does seem to be working fine. I just want to double check everything. And again, if you've got a EGT or oil temperature sensor, hit me up and I'd like to plug in and test. And yeah, send me a message if you're interested. If you're interested. Thanks guys.